If you're trying to land a high paying AI job, here is the truth. It's not enough to know a few tools or write clever prompts. Companies are hiring AI engineers who understand how to build intelligent systems from LLMs to agents that can reason, plan and act. AI isn't replacing jobs, it's actually redefining them. And the people who understand how this shift works, they are the ones getting hired fast and paid well. But the reality is most applicants don't know that AI engineers today don't just build models. They don't just wipe code. Real AI engineers build end-to-end -end systems that can reason, automate, and deliver real outcomes. So how do you become one of them? In this video, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step roadmap called Level Up that shows you exactly what skills to build, in what order, and why they matter if you want a job in AI. You don't need a CS degree. You don't need to be a math genius. But here is what you don't want to be. You don't want to be one of those AI users who just ask ChatGPT to write code and pretends that is engineering. Because here is the truth. If you are just doing what AI can do, chances are that your job will be replaced by AI. Let's get something straight. If you want to be seen as an AI engineer and not just someone interested in AI, you need to lock in four key skills. These are the ones that actually show up in interviews and on the job. Step one, learn to think in code. Programming isn't just about writing syntax. It's about structuring your thoughts clearly and precisely. And that's an actual skill. You should be able to look at a messy problem, break it down and express the solution in code step by step, cleanly and with intent. Python happens to be our best tool for this right now. But the goal isn't to master Python. The goal is to learn how to think like an engineer and show it through code. Step two, use the tools real engineers use. If you are still coding in isolated notebooks and dragging files around manually, you're not building like an engineer. You are experimenting. Make sure you know how to work in VS Code, manage projects in Git, and run code locally and on cloud like a professional. These aren't bonus skills, these are the baseline. Hiring managers don't just look at what you built, they look at how you built it. And if your workflow doesn't match how teams work in the real world, that is a problem. Step 3. Learn just enough math to not sound lost. You should know what a matrix does, how a dot product works, why gradients matter, and what probability means in the context of model outputs. Step 4. Think in systems, not scripts. You're not building one-off models, you're building pieces of a pipeline. Start asking questions like, where did the input come from? Was it cleaned? What happens after the model runs? These are the kind of questions that separate a model builder from a system designer. And if you don't understand the input to your model, you don't understand the system. And by the way, if you ever felt stuck or frustrated in handling data, drop a comment below. Would love to hear your story. And that brings us to our next point, which is extract and align data. Let's say you are learning Python and you just built a basic model. You're excited. You feel like you are making progress. But then you hit the part no one warned you about, the data itself. It's messy. It's inconsistent, full of weird edge cases. And you realize you have no clue what to do with. Start by reading data sets critically. Ask what the rows actually represent, what might be missing, and what could be misleading. Expect real-world data to be messy. Companies don't give you ready-to-use files. You will need to handle noise and strange formatting. Focus on engineering features that aren't just easy to extract, but actually meaningful to the problem you're solving. And never skip the ethical layer. If your data set includes attributes like race, gender, or income, and you don't think about fairness and bias, you're not ready. I want to be super clear. This isn't about becoming a data engineer. It's about sending a signal, the kind that makes hiring managers say, okay, this person gets data. Right now, the spotlight is on LLMs and agents. That's where all the hype is. So people think, why bother learning traditional machine learning? Here is why. The moment you are asked to build a real model on structured data, let's say sales numbers, customer churn, loan defaults, you're lost because you never actually learn the core. The truth is, many of the open roles today aren't asking you to fine-tune GPT. 
they're asking you to predict outcomes from data that looks like an Excel sheet. You've probably seen portfolios that say, build an AI model to predict stock prices. And under the hood, it's just scikit-learn, trained on a data set they barely understood. They can't explain why they chose logistic regression or what F1 score even means. Here is what you need to learn, not to impress people with model names, but to solve real world problems and speak the language of applied AI. Start with the basics of supervised learning. Regression and classification are still the foundation of most AI systems, and skipping them puts you at disadvantage. Make sure you understand how models are evaluated. Accuracy alone isn't enough. Learn how to compare models, not just run them. Can you explain why decision trees might work better than linear models in one case and worse in the other? If not, you need to close that gap. And most importantly, get into the habit of building small, functional models that solve actual business problems. Think churn prediction, loan defaults, fraud detection. Don't chase deep learning when a simple model will do the job better. You're not being tested on the complexity of a model. You're being evaluated on your ability to choose the right model and explain it. By the way, if this video is helping you, please like and subscribe. It lets me know to make more content like this. And if you got questions or your own take, drop it in the comments. At this point, many learners start thinking, okay, I got ML. Now it's time to go big. Neural networks, deep learning, but they jump in too fast. They try to use deep learning for everything, even when a simple model would have worked better. Deep learning isn't a badge, it's a tool. I'm sure by now you've probably seen someone build a deep learning model for classifying cats and dogs, or maybe even done it yourself. The model trains, the accuracy looks good, but you're not sure what the layers are actually doing. You tweak the architecture, you change the optimizer, and just hope for the best. That's a sign you're actually moving faster than your understanding. Start by understanding how data flows through a network. Think in terms of inputs, layers, and activations, and then outputs. And then how each part transforms the one before it. Get familiar with CNNs and RNNs. Know what convolutional networks are good for, typically division tasks, and what recurrent or sequence models like RNNs are good for. Make sure you know the role of loss function and optimizers. You don't have to memorize them all, but you should know what they do and what effect they cause. Then move into transformers, just to demystify them enough that you understand the basics. Learn what attention actually means. Understand how positional encoding works. Get a feel for how LLMs are actually built on top of these core ideas. By the way, if this all sounds too confusing or overwhelming, I get it. I've been there. So I have put together a free guide and a worksheet that walks you through how to choose the right AI role for you and how to prepare for it without wasting time. If you want it, the link is in the description and it's totally free.